Hello, my name is Tony Pike and I am the founder of CAT3C. CAT3C is designed to provide supplemental training as you work your way through your ATPL studies. To help you achieve your goal of becoming a professional pilot, CAT3C have developed an invaluable series of unique EASA ATPL exam passbooks, which have been specifically designed for the iPad and are available in the Apple iBook store. The passbooks contain hundreds of exam style questions and are supported by clear in-depth explanations and interactive diagrams. The link to the iBooks can be found on the webpage below or at the CAT3C website at the Bookstore tab. Additionally, we currently deliver three-day classroom-based general navigation courses and will also be providing future interactive online training sessions plus a range of pre-recorded video seminars. More information on our online sessions and our three-day UK-based classroom training courses can be found at our website www.cat3c.com But for now, sit back and enjoy this QEV. What are the respective distance and true track angle from A to B when the positions of A and B are situated on the same meridian? The latitude of A is north 23 degrees 15 minutes and the latitude of B is north 14 degrees 18 minutes. The options are A, 537 nautical miles and 360 degrees, B, 537 nautical miles and 180 degrees, C, 857 nautical miles and 270 degrees, or D, 857 nautical miles and 90 degrees. Well, we know that both A and B are on the same meridian. So we can represent that meridian by a straight vertical line and it makes absolutely no difference what the value is, in fact we're not told. What we do know that A and B respectively are two latitudes which intersect that meridian. A is at north 23 degrees 15 minutes and B is at north 14 degrees 18 minutes. Position A, position B. And what the question is asking us for are the distance and true track angle from A to B. Well firstly, a little bit of exam technique. Look at the four answers. The actual track bearing on all four answers is different. Each one is different to the other one. Therefore, the bearing along meridian from A to B is in a southerly direction. It can only be one answer. It can only be option B, which is 180 degrees. However, we'll prove the actual distance by calculating the change of latitude between A and B. Given that both positions are in the same hemisphere, we subtract the lesser from the greater. So that's 23 degrees, 15 minutes. Take away 14 degrees, 18 minutes. I'm going to do this on the calculator. So on the calculator, I enter 2, 3, DMS button, 15 DMS button, minus 14 DMS, 18 DMS, equals, and it gives me 8 degrees and 57 minutes. So the change of latitude is 8 degrees and 57 minutes. But of course, the optional answers are in distances. So with 8 degrees 57 minutes in the calculator, I simply now press times 60 equals, and that converts it into 537 minutes. Therefore, the change of latitude is 537 minutes, which, given that one minute is one nautical mile, is equal to 537 nautical miles.